on the 3rd of August, 2019, the skies above Aktubinsk's Chkalov State Flight Test Center witnessed a pivotal moment in Russian military aviation. The Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B, Russia's premier stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle, lifted off the tarmac for its maiden flight, reaching an altitude of 600 meters and sustaining controlled flight for approximately 20 minutes. This milestone marked the culmination of nearly a decade of intensive development and positioned Russia firmly in the global UCAV arms race. But it was only the beginning. The genesis of the Okotnik, meaning hunter in Russian, can be traced to 2011, when the Russian Ministry of Defense, recognizing the shifting paradigm in aerial warfare, commissioned Sukhoi to develop a heavy, unmanned combat platform. This directive didn't materialize in isolation. It leveraged critical insights from the earlier Mikoyan SCAT UCAV program, which had established the fundamental architecture for Russia's unmanned combat initiatives. By 2014, the first ground test mock-up emerged from Sukhoi's design bureau, and the prototype's public unveiling in July 2017 revealed the S-70's distinctive flying wing configuration, a design choice that optimizes both aerodynamic efficiency and stealth characteristics. This configuration, devoid of vertical control surfaces, presents a significantly reduced radar cross-section when compared to conventional airframe geometries. The developmental timeline accelerated in November 2018, with the S-70 prototype conducting a series of autonomous ground tests at the Novosibirsk Aircraft Production Association facility. During these evaluations, the UCAV demonstrated its ground handling capabilities, achieving speeds of up to 200 km per hour while executing precise taxiing, acceleration, and deceleration maneuvers without human intervention. These tests validated the platform's autonomous navigation systems and ground-based control interfaces, critical components for a next-generation combat drone. Measuring approximately 14 meters in length with a wingspan of 20 meters, the UCAV incorporates advanced composite materials and radar-absorbent coatings to minimize its electromagnetic signature across multiple frequency bands. The flying wing design not only reduces radar reflectivity, but also maximizes internal volume for fuel and munitions, enhancing both stealth and operational range. At the heart of the Okotnik B lies the Saturn AL-31F turbofan engine, the same power plant utilized in the Su-27 fighter family. This proven propulsion system generates 123 kilonewtons of thrust, enabling the S-70 to achieve a maximum velocity of 1,000 km per hour, roughly 83% the speed of sound at cruising altitude. While this places the UCAV firmly in the subsonic regime, it aligns with the platform's primary mission profile of stealthy penetration rather than supersonic interception. With a maximum takeoff weight approaching 20,000 kilograms, the S-70 represents one of the heaviest operational UCAVs globally. This substantial mass accommodates an impressive payload capacity of 2,000 kilograms, housed within internal weapon bays to preserve the aircraft's stealth characteristics. The munition suite includes the precision-guided KAB-500S bombs cruise missiles, providing the UCAV with significant standoff attack capabilities against both stationary and mobile targets. The platform integrates synthetic aperture radar and electro-optical infrared sensors, enabling comprehensive battle space awareness and target acquisition independent of ground control. This sensor fusion approach allows the S-70 to detect, classify, and engage adversary assets across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radar emissions to thermal signatures. The development of the S-70 is strategic response to similar programs underway in the United States, China, and Europe, competing directly with the American Northrop Grumman X-47B, the Chinese AVIC 601 S Sharpsword, and the European Dassault Neuron, though each system embodies different operational priorities and technological approaches. With a combat radius exceeding 3,000 kilometers and an operational ceiling of 12,000 meters, the UCAV can penetrate contested airspace well beyond the reach of conventional piloted aircraft, sustaining operations for up to 24 hours without refueling. In the intelligence role, the UCAV can autonomously collect, process, and relay critical battlefield intelligence, substantially reducing the sensor-to-shooter timeline by integrating with the SU-57 fifth-generation fighter through secure data links. This allows it to operate as a forward sensor node and weapons delivery platform 
extending the effective range of the Su-57's radar and weapon systems. The Su-57 pilot can direct the UCAV to investigate potential threats, designate targets for engagement, or position the drone to relay communications in electromagnetically contested environments. This multiplier effect enables a single Su-57 to control multiple battlespace domains simultaneously, wherein multiple UCAVs operate in conjunction with manned aircraft. In this scenario, a formation of Okotnik Bs could autonomously execute suppression of enemy air defenses, missions ahead of manned strike packages, neutralizing surface-to-air missile systems and radar installations to create safe corridors for subsequent waves of attack aircraft. Alternatively, the S-70s could function as decoys, saturating enemy air defenses and forcing them to expend interceptors against unmanned platforms while preserving the combat effectiveness of manned assets. The UCAV incorporates deep learning algorithms for target recognition, enabling it to distinguish between military and civilian infrastructure with high confidence levels. Additionally, the platform features autonomous navigation systems capable of adapting to GPS-denied environments through terrain recognition and stellar navigation. These capabilities allow the S-70 to execute complex mission profiles with minimal human intervention, reducing the vulnerability to communication jamming or satellite degradation. When configured for electronic warfare operations, the Okotnik B leverages its low observability to penetrate adversary air defense networks. Once these targets are cataloged, the S-70 can deploy its electronic countermeasures to degrade or neutralize enemy air defenses, creating corridors for subsequent strike packages. The S-70's computational core integrates indigenous processors developed under Russia's Microelectronics Sovereignty Initiative. These systems, while less advanced than comparable Western hardware in terms of transistor density and power efficiency, incorporate hardening against electromagnetic pulse effects and cyber intrusion, reflecting Russia's emphasis on resilience in contested electromagnetic environments. The UCAV's machine learning algorithms for target identification have been trained on extensive datasets of NATO and allied military equipment, optimizing the platform for operations against Western adversaries. The operational history of the S-70 remains largely classified, though intelligence sources indicate limited deployments in combat theaters. In October 2024, reports emerged of an S-70 being deliberately downed by a Russian Su-57 near Kostyantinivka, Ukraine, after the UCAV lost contact with ground controllers. This incident, if confirmed, would represent the first combat loss of an Okotnik B and raises questions about the platform's electronic hardening against adversary countermeasures. Ukrainian forces reportedly recovered fragments of the wreckage, potentially providing NATO with valuable intelligence regarding Russian stealth technology and autonomous systems. The production timeline for the S-70 suggests an initial operational capability by late 2025, with full operational capability anticipated by 2027. Russian defense officials have indicated plans to procure approximately 20 Okotnik B UCAVs for the initial production run, with options for additional platforms based on operational performance and evolving threat environment. The Novosibirsk Chkalov Aviation Plant, designated as the primary production facility, has undergone significant modernization to accommodate the specialized manufacturing processes required for stealth airframes including advanced composite layering and radar absorbent material application. Export variants of the S-70 remain theoretical at present, though Russia's traditional defense partners, particularly India, have expressed interest in acquiring the platform. Any export version would likely incorporate downgraded sensor and data link capabilities to preserve key technological advantages for the Russian aerospace forces. Similar to export strategies employed with manned combat aircraft, like the Su-30 and Su-35 series. The S-70 Okhotnik B embodies Russia's determination to maintain strategic parity in next-generation aerial warfare despite economic and technological constraints. By leveraging existing propulsion technology, prioritizing stealth characteristics most relevant to its operational environment, and emphasizing integration with manned assets, Russia has developed a formidable unmanned combat system that, while not without compromises, significantly enhances its aerospace capabilities against peer and near-peer adversaries.